Eden by Obsess Much. Read by SSJ DeBus. I don't own Harry Potter or Eden. Harry Potter is owned and written by J.K. Rowling and the WB. And Eden is written by Obsess Much on fanfiction.net. But somebody knew it's a small crime. I got no excuse. Oh yeah, by the way, okay, well this is chapter twelve betrayal. Um, but yeah, that last chapter, so much foreshadowing. It's ridiculous. It's like the entire chapter is devoted to like foreshadowing events. Like every single thing that's in there will happen later on a bigger scale. Be real. It's gonna happen. But that was cool. I like that chapter, actually. Uh, what chapter is that, 11? Um, actually, hold on. I think there's a little something for you guys that is new and cool and fresh and so cool. Oh, man. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I can do this. I can do this. Okay, boodly do, boodly do. Mm. Okay, hold on. No. No. All right, not yet. Yeah. All right. Yeah, okay, whatever, yeah, I'll, I'll do it later. And I know that was infuriating, because what am I talking about? But, Nev's the mine! Okay, chapter 12. Okay, chapter 12, betrayal. Uh, <laughs> that was crazy. Ah, I didn't hit! Ah, okay, sorry. For the, <laughs> for the eyeing my scars, there is a charge. For the hearing of my heart, it really goes. And there is a charge, a very large charge, for the word, or a tort, or a touch, or a bit of blood, or a piece of my hair, or my clothes. Sylvia Plath, Lady Lazarus. My breath stops as I hear a small shifting noise in the corner of my room. I kick myself back, pressing myself as hard as I can against the headboard of my bed. Fear nodding inside my insides. I raise, I raise the candlestick above my head. I almost slip. It almost slips from my hand. Sick with sweat from the hours I've been holding it, I press my eyes into the blackness of my room in a desperate attempt to see who it is. If you come near me, I'll kill you. I swear. Accio candlestick. That is so stupid. They should not be able to do that. That whisper incantation cuts through my words, the only defense flies out of my hand and into the darkness. Whose voice was that? It was only a whisper. I can't make it out. A footstep. I scramble under the duvet covers, pulling them over me in a useless attempt to hide. If you touch me, I'll make sure that he finds out. I scream from under the duvet. I don't care. Don't you care? Don't you ah. Jeez, don't you dare touch me. Believe me, my blood, I have no intention of touching you. I gasp, partly out of fear, partly out of shock, mostly out of sheer relief. Of course it's him. I should have realized. He's the only one who owns the hands of glory. He's the one who owns the hands of glory. The only one who can see me through the dark. Lumos. A light hand creeps in through the gaps in my bed covers, but I don't shift them from me because I don't care what he says. He's a man, isn't he? That makes him <laughs> what makes him any different from Dolahov. I feel like I feel like I've been <coughs> Oopsie, sorry, hold on. Technical difficulties, bruh. Okay. I feel like I did when I was a little girl. When I was scared of the dark and I'd pull the covers right over my head, too, square, too scared to look out into the darkness of my room. But all my fear, but now my fears 
are much more real and much more awful, and I have to face them every moment of every day. I'd give anything to have the darkness as my only fear now. Aren't you going to come out? His voice is laden with malicious amusement. Go away, he sighs. I don't know why you're hiding from me, he says in exaggerated patience. I thought we knew each other well enough to know by now that you might be able to distinguish me from Antonio Dolnikov. Of all people, in case you've forgotten, it was I who came to your rescue last night. Much as it grieves me. Much as it grieves you. You bastard, that's not what you said as you pulled me away, as you pulled him away from me, was it? That wasn't what you said when you pulled me away from the balcony. Yes. But as he said at the time, he only helped me because of his own prejudices. <laughs> And because he had a job to do. Not that he cared about me. I don't want him to care about me anyway. I huddled... Sorry. I huddled deeper under the bed covers. Wing... Wingardium Leviosa. The blankets... Uh... Rise up into the sky and I am left shivering in the night. In the light and cold... In the light and in the cold and the less haughty... Haughty, sneering gaze. I drag myself out of bed and stand before him, tugging at the hem of my skirt. My. Your oh, bad manners will never cease to amaze me, he smirks. I knew that muggles were lazy, but I had no idea that they liked to remain undressed in bed until he pulled out a pocket watch out of his robes. Nine o'clock in the evening. Well, how am I supposed to know what time it is? I mutter. It's not like it's, if there's any way for me to tell, is there? He points his wand at me and I feel, I feel a shiver of pain run right through me. I gasp and it's gone in a second. He sneers before he turns and points his wand at the bathroom door. It creeps open slightly. It creaks op open slowly. After you. I narrow my eyes at him and walk slowly across the room as he watches me walk into the bathroom with a smirk on his face. I hear the door shut behind me as soon as I enter the bathroom. I spin around. He's standing in front of the closed door, blocking my exit. I swallow sharply. He smirks. He flicks his wand at a shrunken bath, a sunken bath, and all the taps attached to it turn on, turn themselves on. I stare at him, shaking with horror. But he just grins at my discomfort. What are you doing? I ask, furious at how my voice is cracking. His eyebrow twitched up as he quickly, as he flicks his wand, yeah, as he flicks his wand at the taps again, which turn themselves off. I notice with dismay just how exactly the bath filled itself. Wait, what? Just how quickly the bath had filled itself with water. You need to get yourself washed up. Breathe in. Breathe out. Keep calm. All right, I say, desperate, trying to keep my voice steady. I'll be out as soon as I'm done. Don't be ridiculous. He snaps. I need to make sure you're doing a decent job of it. You need to be absolutely spotless today. And I've seen what you muggles' notion of what clean entails. I wrap my arms around myself and close my eyes, feeling that my nose sting with tears as my body curls in on itself with fright. I don't even care what he needs me clean for. I know that he wants me to ask him, but to be honest, I couldn't give a damn. I'm not going to get into the bath in front of him. I just won't. After everything that happened to me yesterday, I can't believe that he'd even dare to ask it of me. He's seen you naked before. But that was so long ago. Wasn't it that I'd chosen it back then, was it? Besides, things are different now. Him and me, our entire relationship has changed and evolved so much that I don't even know what it was like when it first began. Relationship. That word seems. It seems wrong somehow when describing what's going on between us. I can't even remember what my life was like before he captured me. I can't remember a time 
before he became such a crucial so crucial a part of my life he's become the very center of my existence i just can't bear it he runs a disdainful glance over me what on earth are you standing stalling for you can't possibly have my intentions towards you you must realize by now that i'm not interested a cruel smirk flickers onto his face i'm sorry to disappoint you but that's just the way it is shut up i snap i hate 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 him why is he being like this last night i really thought he might have i don't know you thought he might have pitied you well you're an idiot then aren't you he grins horribly there's no need to be rude he drawls now would you please stop wasting my time and get washed up no i won't he says quiet <laughs> i say quietly not in front of you he smirks mirthlessly uh, and raises his hand imperial oh yes fantastic anything to stay like this you know it take off your shirt do as he says anything for him anything I pull the shirt open, undo the buttons, pop, 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 no, but, no, wrong, so wrong, pull the shirt off, do as he says, as he wants, everything he wants, only he can make the pain away, take the pain away, drop it to the floor, drop it to the floor, drop it to the, come down, <laughs> let it fall from my fingers, smile, so warm, so peaceful, cold, oh no, I'm warm, just standing here in warmth. Who needs clothes anyways? Nothing matters in this happy days. His voice in my ear. Gotta move. He can see everything. Didn't question it. Anything for you. Get in the bath. I sit on the tiles. Slip my body into the water. So warm. Anything for you. Please. Please don't leave me. Don't stop. The warmth. And the happiness seep away from me. And now there's only warmth up to my waist, warm of the bath water. I realize too late. I quickly put my arms around me, shielding my horribly visible breast from him, thanking God that my that the water shields the rest of me. I press my lips together and stop a tear from swelling out of my eyes. He just stares stands there, his eyes boring into me, piercing me, as if he would seep past the hard shell I put around myself and seek out the pain and humiliation that lurks underneath. I feel myself bloom under his gaze because I just, I was just, oh god, I was just naked in front of him. I'm still naked in front of him. I can't bear it. <laughs> I can't keep saying that. It's so awkward to say. I can't bear it, he smirks. Now that wasn't so hard, was it? can't bloody finally i find words you bastard you bastard <laughs> you bastard i whisper how can you make me do that after what happened to me yesterday he smirks disappears from his face i thought you said nothing happened to you yesterday nothing did happen i said quickly not really anyway <laughs> stop complaining he rolls his eyes and act in exasperation stop complaining i say incredulously hugging my arms tight around myself how dare he he i haven't slept for fear since the pair of you left my room he molested me you stand there telling me to stop complaining his face was hard completely full of contempt he just and when he answers me he completely ignores what i've just said you're going to get washed up or do I like to imperio, imperio you into doing the same as into doing that as well? But how can I how can I wash myself up without letting him see me? He sneers at me again. You may turn away from me if you wish it. He says. That is weird. What? Oh shit. 